Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sips with Chips. And today I want to make a new insert for my band song. And um, this one has much too large a gap, so I want to make a zero clearance insert. Stay tuned. Remember, before you start any woodworking project, make sure you read, understand, and follow all the instructions that come with your power tools and equipment. Woodworking is fun, but it's important to work safely. The first thing I need to do is, is measure this insert because it has to fit precisely in there. A nice snug fit is really the best. It is a circle, so all I should have to do is take my gauge and measure across here. And that looks pretty good there. And that is one, two, two and three quarter inches or about seven centimeters. Okay. Now I also have to measure how deep it is. And that's what this little part here is for. I'm going to set it on the edge anywhere. Push it down. Check the readings. This is how, how deep it is. It is right about 3 sixteenths or about uh, 5 millimeters. And I can double check against this. And yes, right about five millimeters. Now there's another circle in here, and um, I want to make mine even thicker. I'm going to use uh, a piece of quarter inch material, and so I also have to know how big this inner circle is. And this might be a better place to measure here. And that looks like. 82 millimeters or 2 and 7 sixteenths inches so that that way I can it'll fit here and fit in there I'm gonna try using this type of material this is a cutting board and I bought it at a uh, thrift store for 99 cents so we'll see how well this works. So for this I'm going to try the hot glue method. I've seen a lot of people do it and uh, I hope this works on plastic. And all it involves is a little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to run a ring of hot glue right around here. And I don't think I need very much. The biggest thing about hot glue is getting it off there without breaking it. And uh, for some reason, it's oblong. I don't know. I hope it was just me cutting it. There's a little hole in here, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And um, tighten it down a little bit to get a good seal. And we'll let that set for about two or three minutes. My first task 
is to turn it round. Make sure it's round. So I have this little block here just to keep it tight so it doesn't go anywhere. And I need a dimension wise, I need to turn it to one and three quarter inches or um, seven centimeters. I'm going to start at 500 RPM. Well, this thing cuts like butter. So, I set this at two and three quarters. I want a disc this size. All right. So, I only have to need to turn it down just a tiny bit more. And if anything, I want it just a little bit small so it fits in there easily. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm going to take off maybe a 32nd of an inch. Take my my parting tool, and I'm gonna eyeball a sixteenth of an inch. One eighth. Okay. So now let's make sure that that is a sixteenth of an inch. That should leave me three sixteenths there. Yep, three sixteenths. And two and nine sixteenths. Two, two and a half. Two, it's two and a half, nine sixteenths. This one it looks like it's right there. This is the final, the finished cut of the insert. I hope you can see the notch, the offset. It's white on white, so it's kind of difficult to see from the angle, but you can see it from the top profile. If I look at it from this side, it, it uh, you can see it down on the lower side because of the shadow. So let's see if I can remove it without beating on it. Wow! Perfect! Came right out of there. This is my insert here. And this I'll cut. And all I gotta do is drop it in here. Huh! Very good. Nice and snug. It's a little bit just a little bit, not quite as deep as it should have been flush with the, the surface. It's a little bit low, but low is better than high, I think. On my next one, I'll, I'll do better. So I just need to cut that line there and for my blade to fit in. See that on there. And let's see if it fits. It 
it's a tight fit. <laughs> but it's better to have a tight fit than a loose fit. I think. Let's go. Here we go. But that's all there is to it. And um, it does, I do want it to fit very snug because uh, it does not have a pin. Sometimes I'll have a pin out here and you have to cut a little notch for the pin and that keeps the, the uh, insert from swiveling around. And so it does need to be a good tight fit and I think that's tight and I, but I think it's about right. It's pretty good. Okay. And underneath it fit right in there. This one is only uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. The, the new one is a um, uh, quarter inch, a sixteenth of an inch thicker. And so that gives you more support around the blade. And that's the problem I had with some of the old ones I made. The old ones I made for my uh, other bandsaw was only one eighth. And sometimes if something got caught, it would push down and it would actually break the inserts. And I have had that problem before. So that should take care of it. Here's my new insert. I think it's going to work just fine. One thing to remember though, if you have to tilt the table, then you got to change out the insert and get one with more room in there. Because this one's made for a perpendicular blade. YouTube has changed some of their, their uh, the way things work. So, if you want to be notified of each new video, you have to subscribe and you have to click on the bell in order to get a personal notification. If you've enjoyed this video, click on like. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But your comments are important, so uh, don't forget. Leave me a comment if, you got, if you're interested, not interested, have suggestions. Let me know. Until next time, take care.